welcome back to my channel and um, today I'm going to be reviewing these iconic brushes. Oh they so pretty. I was so excited when I got them. I've been after these for ages. And I also got two of their pigment stick and their illuminator which is really which is what they're famous for really. So yeah I thought I'd give it a go. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start with using their pigment sticks. I actually bought two of these, one in my shade and one in a contour shade. This is the one in my normal shade. This is the 0.1 and I bought also 3.1. It's really hard to open for some reason and it's just a darker shade for contouring. I'm going to use the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This smells so nice, it literally smells like lemons. Um, I actually also bought their Pro Evo Buffer Brush. I was really disappointed because if I open it, let me get it out, it's been like forced into the packaging and all the bristles are like bent. Like look at that. I was so excited to use this as well, but look. It's got this weird stain in the middle as well, which I don't know what that is, but. They're actually going to send me a new one, but that's going to take ages, so I thought I'd just use this one because it's still usable, it's just a bit broken around the edges. <laughs> so I'm going to take the one in my shade, or hopefully my shade, it's the 0.1. It's quite stiff, like I thought it would glide onto the skin, but it kind of doesn't. Well, let me take this poor little thing and buff it in. I like the, like the brush feels really nice. It's like no coverage at the moment. I don't know if I didn't use enough. Because I've never actually used a pigment stick before. I like getting little fibres in my mouth. That's so gross. Put a bit more on because I think that was, I just didn't put enough on in the first place. The brush is actually really good, I'm quite impressed with the brush. There are bristles coming out of it though, which I think is because it's so, like, broken. <laughs> it's not great. So far, I'm actually quite impressed with this stick, but it looks so pretty at the moment. And it was built up so well, like, it's not caked into any of my nose or pores, which is really good, so. So next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal under my eyes chin, cupid's bow, a bit on my forehead and down the centre of my nose. Instead of using the big buffer brush to blend this one out, I'm going to take this one. Oh my god that blended out in like two seconds. That usually takes me quite a while to blend out the beauty blender because it kind of spreads it. This literally just like rubs it in. It's like so like seamlessly blended it. I think the coverage is the same as if you use a beauty blender. But yeah, so far I really like these brushes and that foundation seems to be doing really well. So let's move on to the next. For the next step, I'm going to take my other iconic London pigment stick in the darker colour and I'm going to contour. And I'm going to take the smaller, one size smaller brush. That looks great. Is anyone else feeling my pain right now? Like. That literally looks like I've just wiped something on my face. 
is really orange. Okay, well, I'm going to match <laughs> the other side with a tiny amount. And I'm using the excess product on my forehead and looking really brown right now. And I'm going to take a little bit on my brow and along my jawline. It blends out fine. And then it gets stuck here. And I don't really know why. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit of the concealer underneath my contour and take the bigger brush that I use to do my concealer with, this one, and blend that out. That's looking slightly better. So taking this little cute brush, this is just the round one, I'm going to contour my nose a tiny amount, but I'm going to take it on my brush. Next, I'm going to set all those cream products with my NYX contour kit. I'm going to take banana shade under my eyes and the cooler tone to contour with and I'm going to use my small contour brush from Sigma the F05 to set all the highlights with the yellow powder To contour, I'm taking my large angled contour, which is the F40. So using the Smashbox Shape Matters palette, I'm going to take just the brown, the lightest brown in the palette as a transition colour. So yeah, I'm just going to take that in my crease. And I'm just using a fluffy Urban Decay blending brush, which came with the one of the Naked palettes. So I'm going to take the matte pink shade on my small tapered blending brush from Sigma, which is the E45, exactly into my crease. Now I take my shadow slightly above the crease in my eye because I've got small eyes and when I look forward you just can't see it unless I blend it higher. So I'm next going to take the, there's dark purple shade in the Shape Matters palette so I'm going to take that on a, the other end of that Urban Decay blending brush which is just flat. the outer corner and just slightly in my crease. Now what I like to do is I like to take the brush, put it at the end of my lash line, that way you know that square is going to be at the end of your outer bead, and blink and push it up. I don't know, I don't see anyone do this, but for some reason it works for me, so. This is the E25. It's just a flatter blending brush. I like to go back and forth just so it stays where, it want, where I want it, and I gently blink onto it again and push up. I'm just going to take the sparkly pink in the palette. I'm going to take this on my Zoeva Classic Luck Classic Shader. And now I'm just going to pack that on my lid. Now I like to take it like almost like in my crease. I like to match up where that purple is on your outer bead. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take just that pink matte shade, the light pink matte shade, and just go underneath my eye. So next I'm going to take this tiny little accent brush from Real Technique. I'm going to take that dark, a very, very tiny amount of that dark purple shade on my lower lash line. For my inner corner, I'm going to take the highlight in the Shape Matters palette, put it in my inner corner. This is just a really pretty, like, off-white colour. And I'm going to take the same shade 
under my brow bone. I'm going to do eyeliner in my waterline. A glimmer slip, it's by Avon. And I'm going to do the same on the upper. I hate doing that so much. So I'm going to curl my lashes and do mascara next if I can find that. So the next part is the exciting bit. I get to try out their, the iconic London illuminating drop. And I bought this in the shade Shine because it's a pinkier silver tone and I'm quite pale. It's sort of like a cute little dropper. Okay, let's do some of my cheeks. I'm really scared and I don't know why. Really dripping. So yeah, I can quite quick put it on your cheeks. Actually, let's just use my fingers. Okay, I put way too much on. Spread that. Oh my god. Okay, so you need a tiny amount. I didn't even mean to put that much on. I'm gonna have to take my sponge because I made a mess. This is just a dry beauty blender. Okay, wow, it's really pretty. But I put way too much on. Like it's gotten right up to my nose. And it's easy to blend, which is even better. Actually, I'm going to take that tiny brush again because this is good for the nose. I give this product a thumbs up. It is great. And they're so pretty, and they blend the um, on top of a bit of powder as well, which is great. Because my high beam one, the benefit one, if you put it over powder, it just like it stays in the dots that you put on your face, no matter how much you like scrub at it, it will stay like that. So next I'm going to do my lip. This new beauty bakery I have. Open the pack. I've even got it in this packet still. Um, this is their best selling one, Versailles. This is their um, lip whip and it's um, a matte lipstick and it's meant to last forever. Forever. It's literally impossible to get off. That's the, the side matte lip whip and it is a beautiful mauvey colour. It's just so nice to put on. I love their new applicator and everything. So I hope you enjoyed my video. This is the finished look. Thanks for watching.